some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to Onalaska, Texas, where we encounter a sovereign citizen, oh wait, American State National, who thinks that it's alright to drive without a license plate. But you know what? He ends up winning the stupid prize of the day, or should I say prizes, which include a trip to jail, a shiny new pair of handcuffs, and a uh, visit from Safe Light uh, Auto Glass. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, we got emergency lights here. Hello, how you doing? Sergeant Prince on Alaska PD, driver license insurance. Um, I'm filming this. I just want to have our interaction documented. Do you have a body cam on? My body camera's on. You got body cams running? Can you yeah. check it and verify for me, please? Oh, I know it's running. I can see the red light. On. Okay. What, what what department are you with? On Alaska PD. Okay, on Alaska PD. What is your name, sir? Sergeant Prince. Sergeant Prince. Yeah. And do you have a badge number? 604. 604, okay. You pulled over because you don't have a license plate. Uh, I, I figured that. I'm not driving. Yeah, we're not going to do the sovereign is, citizen thing. I'm not a sovereign citizen. We're not going to do that. I'm an American national. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. I need a driver's license and a proof of insurance. Okay. What, can, can we talk about this? I need a driver's license. I'm not insurance. driving, though. You see, I have it posted right here, not for hire. Okay, so what you're trying to say is that... Uh, you're unemployed because you know what? You just said that you're not for hire. So I'm going to go ahead and interpret that as you're a jobless, smooth brain uh, chump who uh, never could find a job anyway because he's too busy sitting around soft, tarred campfires sharing stories about getting pulled over and drinking lead laced Kool Aid to even care about uh, doing the right thing. Sir, I don't want a problem with you. But, I mean, I don't... You, you're already coming off, like, hostile towards no, me. I need a driver's license I'm, and a proof of insurance. Okay, can, can, I, can we talk about this? Because I have, I have all the documents right here. I need a driver's license and a proof of insurance. Okay. Hold on. Now, am I stopped? Yeah. Okay. Let me get... Can I get this paperwork here just to don't show you? for anything in the vehicle. I'm just, I got paperwork here. I want to show you some paperwork. I'm not reaching for anything in the vehicle. I'm reaching for this paperwork. That's all I'm reaching for, man. Settle down. Been down this road before several times, I'm telling you. Okay, but, but what, what is it that you think that I'm wrong about what I'm saying? Listen, just hear me out. This, this is... So, can I talk? Because I know what you're showing me. I've been, I've been, okay, what is, what is it that I'm wrong about? What am I getting... Go try and show me some excerpts from uh, some case law that's not correct. So here's the deal. It's not, not what I'm showing you. That's not what I'm... Driver's license and a proof of That's not what I'm showing you. Driver's license and a proof I'm literally showing you what the driver, the definition of driver means. It means one employed. I am not employed. I'm not for hire. I have it posted. A soft heart. That gave you a little secret about uh, verbiage in any language. Because words can have multiple definitions in any language, dude. So you might want to check up on the exact meaning of the context that you're trying to look for before you spout off anything that, well, might not be entirely accurate. Because after all, one of the definitions of employed is to make use of. I'll give you a de uh, an example. Like, I employ a tape measure whenever I want to measure a floor. Right here. Not for hire. No, no, I'm not refusing. I, I just want to talk casually with you. If we have to go down this road, we'll do it your way. Can we, can we at least just... Give me your driver's license, please. Sir, please just give me a minute. You're off on the wrong foot with this. You're going to walk yourself into a resisting arrest charge. Dude, I'm, I've already I'm already got a court case. I'm dealing with this. Driver's license, please. I'm already dealing... I already have a court date. I'm dealing with the same thing. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. Okay, so this isn't your first rodeo, okay? This is going to be a, another arrest for you because you're not that bright to begin with because why do you keep on repeating the same mistakes over and over again without trying to figure out 
what you did wrong to end up in that situation. I'm sorry to tell you this, dude, but your parents raised a real dumbass. Driver's license, proof of insurance. I am not driving. I am traveling. Driver's license, proof of insurance. I am not employed. It says employed right here. Coach, carriage, wagon, other vehicle, horse, animals. Incorrect. That's not per. That is not per the Texas code for the definition for Texas. What, what, what code book are you using? Right here. Look at 502. Can you bring your book? I'm telling you driver's license and insurance now. No, I'm just saying. Look, you got driver's this. License. This is the Texas. Man, hear me out, dude. Driver's Seriously. Come on, man. Like, you're being. License for insurance. Dude. Look. It says here. Okay. Dude, let me talk, man. You're not letting me talk. Why are you not letting me talk? Because I don't have to let you talk. When I'm, I, I've, I've told you what I pulled you over for. For what? You act like I did a crime. What crime did I commit? You don't have a license plate. That's not a crime. No, it's not. It says it is. For what you have jurisdiction over, it is. Jurisdiction over you right now. You're driving mm -hmm. in my city and you don't have a license plate on your vehicle. Dude, you don't, you don't own the road. You're driving on a public roadway in the state of Texas. Okay. I'm not driving though. I'm not driving. I'm traveling. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. I hate to be the bearer of bad news and burst your uh, bubble that you have isolated yourself in, but you are behind the wheel of a motor vehicle, which makes you a driver of that machine traveling on the public roads. So in a sense, you are both a driver and a traveler. Thing is, you have to be licensed, registered, and everything like that to be a driver. Dra uh, traveling is a right, of course, but you need to understand the difference. Legal definition. Here's the deal. What, what you're going to walk yourself into right now, I've been through this. You're going to walk yourself into going to jail. But why? You're refusing to give me your identification. I'm not refusing anything. You are. You are. You, have you provided it to me? Why would I provide anything? Don't I have right? I mean, you got me arrested right now, right? Can you send a supervisor? I am a supervisor. You are the supervisor? So you don't got any other body over you? No, my chief, she's at home. She's asleep. So there's, there's, there's you're the only one I can deal with right now. You're going to go to jail if you don't if you don't produce something. I'm telling you, point blank. But isn't the state law that I just have to give you a name? No, you got to give me name, date of birth, or you got to give me a driver's license. But I don't have to provide a physical document where I can just verbalize to you. Name and date of birth, so where I can run you. Okay? Well, we're not going to do it. You're going to get a citation. If you don't sign the citation, then you're going to go to jail. I know, man, but it's like, dude, this stuff takes up so much of my time. I'm already doing this with another county. I'm in Liberty County now doing the same thing. I got the paperwork right here. That's fine. Driver's license. So do you think we don't have a right to travel? Is that... Driver's license. Proof insurance. Point blank. I don't, I don't have insurance. Then the vehicle's coming with me. Come on, dude. You really gonna do this to me like this? Driver's license, proof of insurance. I don't have insurance. I don't have insurance. So you're basically telling me you're gonna impound my car. You have to have insurance. 100%. Dude, that's not right, man. Driver's license, proof of insurance. I don't have proof of insurance. I don't have insurance. With me. Dude. Come on, man. This is the only car I got. I didn't ask for you to drive without insurance. Dude, do, do you pay for my insurance? Do you have a job? No, I don't. Then that's not my problem, buddy. Okay. Is it, though? I mean, I'm not saying it's your problem, but the well, fact... Here's the deal. <sighs> you're going to come out the vehicle now. If you don't, you're going to jail. You don't have insurance on the vehicle. You don't verbally told me that. The vehicle comes with me. Dude, come on, man. 100%. So what's the best way we could do this for you to, like, not do this to me? Hey, this, this is a said and done ordeal now, dude. What do you mean? What does he mean? Well, according to Texas state law, you are required to have insurance for your vehicle, my smooth-brained lead paint drinker. 
I mean, you should really study up on your uh, actual laws instead of this sovereign citizen gobbledygook that you uh, uh, seem to have a fixation for. Come out of the vehicle. So what, you're going to take me to jail now? I'm towing the vehicle. You don't tell me it doesn't have insurance. And you don't have a license plate. I mean, I got this. Non-commercial use. I'm not. That's I'm not, not getting paid. Doesn't matter. I don't know what YouTube lawyer you've been watching, what TikTok lawyer you've been watching, but you've been steered wrong, buddy. I'm telling you, you can walk yourself into another charge. Well, I don't want to walk myself into nothing, man. You're not being smart about this at all, dude. I'm telling you. But after ten years of doing this, I've dealt with numerous of y'all. So, th so, so none of this is right. Er I mean, this here, have you read this? I have read the Texas Transportation Code, what it says about a driver. You're behind, you're operating this vehicle right now, which you are driving this vehicle on the public roadway. Can you please just tell me okay. what it says here? It says employed. I'm not employed. Oh, gee, I wonder why you're unemployed. Dude, I don't, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I'm not trying to have a fight with you, man. I mean, do you, do you want me to just give you a license? 20. What's your 20, man? Nice. 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 I'm not a sovereign citizen. I'm just, I'm done. I'm trying to just be honest with you, my understanding of the law. It says one employed and conducted. And I look up, what does employed mean? Here's the deal. Here's the deal. It says employed. Here's the deal. Contractor. What does contractor mean? Somebody who is under contract for payment. I'm not Here's getting paid. That is that is incorrect. None of this is right. Here's the deal. Open the door, get out. I don't want to do that. I feel safe right here. I don't feel dude, you're you're coming at me hostile. I don't know what you're gonna do. Open the door and get dude, out. you're freaking me out. I don't wanna go outside. I'm Open safe in here. I'm not safe with you. He's telling me that he uh he don't have to provide me a driver's license. He doesn't have to give me any kind of information. He don't have to call on me. Man, this is not good. He's another sergeant for the county. Excuse me. Can I talk to you, sir? Sure, go ahead. Let you want it down, but you need to talk to him. Don't let you want it down, so I can. Well, I just want to talk to you. Because I tried talking to him and he's like, he's getting pissed off. He looked like he want to rip me out the car. I'm like, dude, I ain't been nothing but casual with him. You know, I'm like, well. Okay, let's run it down so I can talk to you a little. That's it right there. I mean, let it down. I, I want you to be. Dude, clear. I know how this goes, man. I don't want to get ripped out of here. I don't want y'all beating my ass. I don't want y'all shooting me, man. I just want to travel in peace. Okay, Softard, I'm going to give you a piece of advice. If you want to travel around in your land canoe, at your pleasure, then all you have to do is go down to the DMV, have it registered, tagged, and insured. Well, find an insurance company and insure it. But that's really that simple. You'll be paying a lot less in uh, taxes and everything like that than you will be in court costs. I'm not gonna rip you. I'm not gonna pull you out of anything. Let the window down so I can talk to you, dude. I can hear. You. I feel comfortable where it's at. No disrespect. I just feel safer with it up like this because okay. y'all can start grabbing in here and yanking me out. I know how it goes. Okay, well let me ask you something. I just want to talk to you, man to man, just on the facts and okay, tell me where I'm wrong. A, let me ask you a couple questions first. Sure. Do you have any firearms in the vehicle? Well, what does that matter? I'm asking. Do you have any firearms? In I mean, I, I'd rather not answer any of those questions. I just want to talk about this. Okay. This right here. He's saying the Texas Code, which is right here, which is what y'all got. Do you have a copy of your book here? Do you, my penal code book? No, I don't. You don't have a traffic code book on you? Not on me, but I am familiar with it. Okay. What is the name of the book that y'all go by? The Texas, what, what's it called? Texas Penal Code. No, traffic. Code it's No, it's, this one's on traffic. Right here. Texas Transportation Code. Okay. Here's 502-003, registration by political subdivision prohibited. So what this is basically saying is that 
a person who is not employed for commerce, like say if I was a bus driver or a taxi or doing Uber or something where I'm making my money on the road. Okay. They say, if you're doing that, you're considered a driver. And that's the driver. If we look at Black Law Dictionary, what a driver is right here, legal definition, it says one employed. Okay, listen, here. listen, that's fine. But you need to let the window down. If you want to crack it like this, that's fine. And speak with him, though. He doesn't want to... I. To tell him, I tried to tell you, you don't want to hear anything I got to say. You're like, get out of the car. You're like, get out of the car. You saw Tard's ability to misunderstand anything in the laws never ceases to amaze me. Actually, it really does. Considering if you would actually look up the uh, definition of political subdivision, you would understand that it would be a uh, political entity like a town, city, county, or anything of that nature under the state. So you got the state and all its subdivisions of counties, towns, uh, any other municipality out there. So what it's basically saying right there is that the state is the only one in this case that has the authority to issue the license and registration. The political subdivisions of counties, towns, and everything like that are not allowed to do that. Do you have a driver's license? I'm not driving. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm not driving, and this is not a motor vehicle. And I know that your face, you're looking at me like, like, like I just said, Bigfoot's here. Hear me out, though. This is what I'm trying to say. These words have legal meaning in court. I know there's a colloquial understanding of us saying, like, hey, man, why are you fishing on me, man? Come on, listen, just talk. Just let me talk I'm to you. To I know, but you're over there fishing. Come on, just no, talk I'm to just, me, man. No, I'm just looking. Look. It says a driver. This is Black Law's dictionary. This is what they use in court. Okay. The definition of driver, legal definition and legal meaning means one employed. Let's just take it right there. Employed. What does employed mean? We look up employed. Same right. same dictionary. Yeah. What does that mean? It means one under contractor. What does contractor mean? No, no, hear me out. I'm almost done. Okay. Contractor. Someone who's engaging in contract okay, for a fee. That's not me. I'm not getting paid. And the same thing says it in your own code. If you read your own code book, it says it right here. It says, it says, except as subsection B, a political subdivision, which means a community, people, it says, may not require an owner of a motor vehicle Listen. to register the vehicle, pay a motor uh, vehicle registration fee, or pay an occupation tax license. It says the only way you can do that is to regulate motor vehicles for compensation. That's what you have jurisdiction over. I'm not, I'm not trying to yell at you, but it's like, man, I, I, he, I couldn't even tell you. He wouldn't even listen to me. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. God have mercy on your soul. Look, first of all, you're, you're, you're speaking loudly because of the window that's in between us. You're trying to make sure that you, I hear you correctly, okay? Listen, say you, I'm Sergeant William Land with the Sheriff's Office, okay? What's your name? My name's Laz. Laz? Yeah. Okay. Uh, are you working, Laz? No, I'm just trying to get home. I see you got like a badge or something on your shirt. I didn't know if you was working or what. No, this is this is from the rodeo. I mean, look, man, that's my name. Look, I'm not hiding from anybody, man. That's my name. It's like... If I give you a date of birth, will you let me go? See, so, so why am I gonna why am I gonna play that game when you already you already trying to take my car from me? Listen, just answer his question. But he said he's gonna impound my car. And then leave me, you're gonna leave me with no car. Lance, listen. This is his stop. I know, man. Come on, man. Let me make it, man. Let me make it. Listen to me for a second, okay? You're recording us, right? Sure. You're recording me too, right? I'm recording. Everybody's recording. Everybody's recording. What was your name and badge number? Sergeant Land, Polk County Sheriff's Office, 815. Oh, you're Polk County? Yes, I am. And what is he? He's city of on Alaska. Listen to me. I'm trying to explain this to you, okay? I hear you. So you can have all this recorded. This is his city, his jurisdiction. He's the sergeant in this city, okay? What he's saying is that due to you not having insurance on your vehicle, he's going to tow your vehicle, okay? You're not probably identifying with him. 
Now, you can be going to jail as well, okay? He's trying to work with you. I know, but here's the thing. He's not. He's already told me he's going to impound my car. I'm trying to... I'll, what I wish to get out of this is to just get home. Where is home at? I got animals. I got to take care home? of. No one's there. I live by myself, Where man. Where is home at? All those poor little animals to have somebody stup as stupid as you take care of them. I mean, wonders never cease. I hope you have somebody to come along and uh, at least feed them while you are uh, taking care of your legal issues after this. I live in Rye. Right? Okay, now listen to me, Laz. Nobody said, now listen, this is not my stop, okay? I don't supersede, I mean, I'm not his supervisor or anything. I have no authority over him in this city. But nobody said anything about you going to jail yet. You say you want, hold on a second, hold on a second. You say you're trying to make it home. You're trying to say you want to check on your animals and things. Yeah. You may be able to do that. Nobody but but, but why should I like may be able to do it? Y'all act like I committed a crime, man. What did I really do? I'm just saying. What did, I, what did I really do? What did I really do? Like, like who's, show me the victim here. Where's the victim? Y'all got me hemmed up here. I'm already under arrest because I'm not free to go, right? Nobody said anything that you had no, thought about no, you being under arrest. No, but I'm not free. Hey, sir, am I free to go? You're temporarily yeah. detained. So, no, no. So, e every stop is a custodial arrest. So, right now, I'm under arrest. I want you to read me my rights now. You're temporarily detained. Read, read me my Miranda rights because I'm under arrest. Don't do this, man. Do, do what? Don't do this. I mean, look, I understand. At the end of the day, y'all could bust my window. Y'all could drag me out. You could tase me. I get it. This is y'all's world, and I got to deal with it. But all I'm trying to do is just be free, man. Is America free or not? Are we not free to travel, or are we not? Oh, yes, you could travel anywhere you want in the United States. But here's the thing. You can't operate your uh, vessel, if that's what you want to call it, anywhere without the proper registration, driver's license, or insurance. You brainless buffoon. Don't do, that. Don't, do that. Don't do what? Step out and talk with me. Why would I do that? Step out and talk Why would I do that? Don't, don't do that. What? Don't do what? You have your driver's license on? Or any type of identification? <sighs> I told him I'd give him my name. You have your driver's license on you, any type of identification that we can verify that you are who you say you are. I understand what you got on your shirt, but that doesn't say anything. Anybody, you can have anybody's shirt. The same thing with y'all, right? How do I know y'all really cops? Unit, badge. Anybody can get a badge. car, right? Anybody can get lights. No, but that's just how you doing me, man. You literally doing me like that. You want to go home or you want to go to jail? Man, I want to go home with my car. That's what I want. You trying to say you'll impound my car, but do you let me walk home or something? Switch your vehicle off. How am I going to go home? Turn your vehicle off. Switch your vehicle off, Lance. All right, y'all going to break my car? Just be honest with me, man. If y'all going to break my car... Switch your vehicle off. Switch your vehicle off, Lance. Well, what are y'all going to do, man? Lance, turn your vehicle off. I mean, are y'all going to bust in my window? Just be honest with me, man. Look, look, hands up, man. Hands are up. I don't want no problems. I, I asked you about weapons in the vehicle. You won't answer any of my questions about that. Dude, because I have a right to remain silent. Do I not have rights? Read but me you're my speaking with them. Read me my Miranda rights. You're speaking with them. But I can choose to answer questions or not. Those are rights, man. Did you swear an oath to the Constitution? Answer me that. Did you swear an oath to the Constitution when you got sworn in? Last. Just listening. answer me the question. I'm just you're asking you a listening. question, man. You're not listening. Don't make me bust your vehicle. Don't okay, that's what I'm saying. You're gonna do that. You gonna bust? Are you gonna bust my vehicle? Don't make me bust your window. I don't want you to bust my vehicle. Open up the door. But why would I want to do that? Well, it'll probably be the best thing right now for you to cooperate because you'll end up having to call Safe Flight here in the next few minutes if you don't do that. Listen, we don't know who you are. We don't have no kind of way of verifying who you but are. But what makes you think I'm I'm somebody bad? Why yeah. wouldn't you think I'm somebody you got to worry about? You haven't properly identified. Dude, or look. You haven't properly identified. Last stock show, dude. Are you gonna bust it? Let me know if you're gonna bust it. You gonna bust? Safe flight repair, safe flight replace. Well, he was warned, and now he's gonna have to. They have the services of Safe Flight Auto Glass. Okay, I'm gonna unplug my phone. Go ahead. Here. Now lay your phone down. Making well, okay, okay, can I call my brothers and let them know you take me to jail? Well, that's the end of the video, folks. I mean, uh, the guy played stupid games and won all the stupid prizes he could get a hold of. I mean, how does it feel to be such a dumbass?
I don't know how it feels, but we should definitely ask this idiot. At any rate, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.